Could this be the end between Matthew Judon and the New England Patriots? Well, several tweets are now hinting that Judon may be completely done with the New England Patriots front office and what they have done this offseason in terms of his extension. So we're going to break that down here on Patriots Today by Chat Sports. You got your girl Allie Barefoot here, but the bosses did give me a very tall order. They said we have to reach 13,000 subscribers by Monday. It is Friday, July 5th. When I make this video, when I am showing you guys it, I need you right now. Tell your grandmother, tell your friends, tell whoever. Go on YouTube and hit that sub button for me. Help us get at 13,000 by Monday or else. All right, let's talk about the timeline of what's happened so far in these five days in July. On July 2nd, linebacker Jelani Tavai did get an extension. And then on July 3rd, Matthew Judon tweeted his first cryptic message on X. Then, shortly after that crypt cryptic message, his second one shortly followed. That's now making me think, okay, is he really not happy here? And what's kind of interesting is that we are about two weeks away from July 23rd, Patriots training camp beginning, and there's a lot of drama going on between Judon and the Patriots. So what does that mean for the end of July? Well, let's talk about those cryptic messages. You guys can tell me if I'm over-exaggerating or a drama queen. I have been known to do so. But this isn't looking like it's going in a good direction here. A Patriots fan, I'm assuming, tweeted out that if they don't give Matthew Judon an extension, then the Patriots are effed. He wants a solid defense. Well, Matthew Judon responded to this fan saying, I don't think that's about to happen. Pretty much insinuating that there is going to be no contract extension between Judon and the Patriots. And then shortly after that tweet, he just tweets this gif of SpongeBob. And let me tell you, I love using a good gif, but this does not make me feel good. The gif of SpongeBob saying, all right, I'm going to head out. That cannot be good. That is literally Judon, in my opinion, telling me he's leaving the Patriots. I don't know how else to take it. And I don't blame him necessarily because when you look at the 10 Patriots that have already been signed, re-signed, excuse me, or extended, I can 110% see why he's probably thinking it's not my time here anymore. Mike Nwenu, Hunter Henry, Kyle Duggar, Kendrick Bourne, Josh Uche, and Anthony Jennings, Jalen Rieger, Christian Barmore, David Andrews, Ramondre Stevenson. Obviously, Elliot Wolf has a high priority of re-signing or extending several New England Patriots. But in the 11th signing, which was Jelani Tavai, I guess that's when Matthew Judon broke his silence. Because that's when he tweeted it out. After the 11th signing, not to mention the strong side linebacker for the Patriots, knowing Judon plays right there next to him and has possibly an even bigger role rushing up and playing the edge. Overall, my take here is this. Judon made it, has made it clear he wants to play for the Patriots. Not to mention... As, is, as he's still 31 years old, he's a pretty hot commodity in terms of defenses in the NFL, and he wants to play here for New England. So why play with fire? Why keep pushing this off? Why not address the extension with Matthew Judon and at least give him some answers? And until I'm sure he'll tweet it out and give us answers as well, as he's a top five defensive player for the New England Patriots, in my opinion. So what do you guys think? We don't have the answer here, obviously. Why do you think the Patriots haven't extended Matthew Judon yet? I just showed you 11 extensions slash re-signings that Elliot Wolf has done. We know they've got the cap space. We know that they are extending offensive and defensive players. So why not Judon? Comment it down below. And as of right now, we're about halfway through the video. I'm going to tell you guys why I think they haven't extended Judon and why I think, I, why I think they should extended Judon in just a few moments but if you've made it this far in the video you're still rocking with me go on ahead hit that sub button for me if you guys have not already and like I said I want to start breaking down why I think they should extend Judon and why I think they won't because my question overall question is does Elliot Wolf Elliot Wolf want to that's what I'm thinking here because I know a while ago he hinted that it was a top priority Let's bring you back to May of 2024. Mike Reese tweeted out, newly appointed Patriots executive vice president of player personnel have a title. Elliot Wolf has been checking off items on his contractual to-do list, most recently extending center and state's team leader David Andrews deal. Well, Matthew Junon was on that to-do list. He said it was a high priority to extend Matthew Judon. Well, that was two months ago, and he has extended since David Andrews. 
Ramondre Stevenson, Jelani Tavai, so why not Judon? Well, I'm thinking in my head, okay, why would I and why would I not extend him? Well, here's why I would. He's still a top five sack leader in the NFL since 2019, even though he missed pretty much last season. He only played four games. Knowing that he is the sack guru of the New England Patriots, that goes a long way for a top 10 defense with the Patriots. Not to mention, he's a disruptive player on both pass rush and run defenses. I think that he's phenomenal. He knows how to get in quarterbacks' heads. He's just a defensive menace. And he's a locker room leader. You've got a lot of young guys on the team now as you're kind of trying to rebuild. They haven't officially stated that. But there's a lot of new players and coaches in this franchise. And you've got Judon who has been there for the last couple of years. So he knows what to say in the locker room. So these are three reasons why I would pay the man. Maybe why I wouldn't would look something like this. Yes, he's coming off an injury, a bicep injury, not to mention only playing four games last year. So one, he doesn't have as much leverage to talk about an extension as he did the year prior because he only played four games. Did he have a sack in all four games? Yeah, but he's also turning 32 years old, which if you do extend him, let's say you give him a three-year, maybe even a four-year, you're going now into the 35, 36 range for an edge rusher. It's going to be tough to keep up. We don't know how many more years he has in the NFL, which does lead you to my last point here. He may not fit in the long-term plan. If they decide to go with Jalen Polk and Drake May on the offense, that's two rookies that could be leading your offense. Well, they may start doing the same thing for the defense as well, start going a little bit younger here. And maybe Judon just doesn't fit the mold of what Elliot Wolf is trying to do in the future. That's the only thing I can think of of not extending a player of Judon's capabilities. But I'm also not a GM. I'm just a host here at Chat Sports. So what do you guys? Go on ahead and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. Should the Patriots extend Matt Judon? I have seen several comments down below on my videos going either way. He's old. He's washed up. Don't resign him. Oh my God, he's my favorite player. He's the best defensive player I've ever seen in my entire life. Type E for extend. Type P for pass. Let's just settle this all together. And as always, like I said, 13,000 subscribers by Monday. We are 100 and something away. Go on ahead. Hit that sub button for me if you guys have not already. And as always, this is Patriots Today by Chat Sports. I will see you guys next time.